Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discuss IR-1 and crossing-1 visas. The IR-1 and CR-1 visas are immigrant visas for foreign spouses of U.S. citizens who want to live together permanently in the U.S. Both visas lead to permanent residency, but they differ in how they are obtained and how long the immigration process takes. Spousal Green Card Card The Spousal Green Card allows a foreign spouse of a U.S. citizen to permanently live in the U.S. and work and attend school there. This immigrant visa allows the couple to reside together in the U.S. and receive U.S. documentation. Travel in and out of the U.S., receive a driver's license, and create bank accounts, and so on. After a set time period, the foreign spouse can apply for U.S. citizenship. The couple's child will also be a U.S. citizen. Types of Marriage Green Cards since many people want to move to the U.S. permanently for employment reasons, there are marriages that only get immigrant status within the country. The U.S. government discourages green card marriages to prevent couples from marrying only to get a green card. The U.S. has two marriage green cards. County Route 1, Conditional Resident Spouse Visa and IR-1 Conditional Resident Spouse County Route 1 Visa. The couple must apply for the Conditional Resident Spouse Visa or CR-1. If the foreign spouse is applying for a spouse green card after being married, this visa allows the foreign spouse to move to the U.S. on an immigrant status with a green card. If the couple stays married for at least two years, two immediate relative spouse visa IR-1 after two years of marriage, the foreign spouse can transition to an immediate relative spouse visa or IR-1, which gives them a more permanent status and does not expire if the couple divorces or breaks up before two years. IR-1 Visa Requirements The couple must be legally married to apply for an IR-1 visa. This is to prevent fake marriages for the purpose of getting a green card. Additionally, if the couple is only living together, it is not considered a marriage under U.S. laws and regulations. One spouse must be a U.S. citizen with a valid address in the U.S. and can support the other from a foreign country until both have financial means to support themselves. To apply for a green card through merit, the supporting documents must be sent to the NVC and the file must be filed. A valid passport for more than six months after your planned U.S. entrance signed Form I-864. Affidavit of support from the U.S. Petitioner Applicant Spouse DS-260 Confirmation Page Medical Records and Vaccinations Wedding Certificate. This may be a marriage certificate. Wedding Albums 3 Honeymoon Destinations. Wedding Party and Organization Receipts. U.S. Visa Photo Requirements two photos per person, judicial and criminal records, police certificate seven after gathering your documents, bring your military records if you serve. For U.S. visa, consider green card health insurance, IR-1 visa application. IR-1 visa applications are identical to other family-based visas. It's split into two parts. The U.S. citizen petitions for their spouse's citizenship and USCIS processes it. Second, when the petition is approved, the spouse must apply to a U.S. embassy or consulate in their home country. The application process must begin in the U.S. with the U.S. citizen petitioning the authorities. Filing Form I-130 Petition for Alien Relatives Filing Form I-130 Petition for Alien Relatives U.S. citizens must submit this petition to USCIS after filling out all sections. U.S. citizens must pay a fee to process the petition. The Department of Homeland Security will process the petition within months. When the petition is processed, USCIS will notify the U.S. citizen of the status. If the petition is approved, it will go to the National Visa Center NVC, which will be your main contact for the IR-1 visa. The NVC will send a package with information and instructions to the applicant in the foreign country, along with the case number and invoice ID number which will be used to start the application from the U.S. Embassy or Consulate in the foreign country applying for the IR-1 visa. Since immediate relative visas do not have a cap on the number issued each year, applicants do not need to wait for their priority dates to become current immediately. After U.S. Embassy or Consulate can help overseas applicants file Form DS-260. All immigrant visa applicants must submit the DS-260 electronic application which can be accessed using the NBC case number, MBC case number, and approval number. The IR-1 visa applicant or someone helping them must fill out all the necessary sections, which will ask about the applicant's background and reason for immigrating to the U.S. 
After submitting the DS-260 form, you will receive a confirmation page and number to attach to your supporting documents. Medical Checkup and Vaccination Medical checkup and vaccination immigrants to the U.S. must undergo medical checks and immunizations. The NVC package the applicant receives after the petition was approved will detail what medical treatments and vaccines they need to get the documents and checkups signed by a licensed doctor. Attach these to your supporting file and send it to the NVC compiled docs file. You must attach supporting documentation to the application form to convince NVC to grant you an IR-1 visa to come to the U.S. Attending the interview. Attend interview every immigrant applicant for the U.S must attend an interview at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate where they are applying. The NBC will first make sure that you have submitted all the necessary documents. And then will schedule the interview receive NBC packet and travel to the U.S. if the IR-1 visa is approved. The spouse from the foreign country can travel to the U.S. freely. The visa will be stamped on their passport and the Embassy will give them a package petition $535 visa application form DS-260 fee $325 supporting papers and translation fees since the IR-1 visa has no annual caps. Its processing time is much shorter than the family preference visas. Depending on the case, processing can take 8 to 10 months. How to become a U.S. Lawful Permanent Resident LPR. How to become a U.S. Lawful Permanent Resident, LPR, after getting an IR-1 visa. This is called getting the green card. To change your status from an immigrant visa to an LPR, you must have a USCIS-approved petition, a visa, and live in the U.S. Then you must file Form I-485 to register permanent residence or adjust status with USCIS. If approved, you'll receive your green card in the mail. Green cards allow foreigners married to English citizens to live, work, and study in the U.S. The U.S. has two marriage green cards. The Conditional Resident Spouse CR Visa, which is valid for two years and requires the couple to stay married for at least two years. And the Immediate Relative Spouse IR-1 Visa, which is more permanent and has no validity period after two years of marriage. But the couple must be legally married, have a U.S. citizen spouse, and provide required documents. The U.S. citizen files Form I-130 with the USCIS and the spouse applies to his new embassy. That's all for today in this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.